Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Well, hello, everyone. This is Gary Morgan and Larry Eater. We're here at the uh, post-race co news conference with the champions, and uh, it was quite a day out there. Uh, it was a phenomenal day to run it, as I'd run it for my 13th time. Couldn't have had better weather, and that definitely showed with the champions, so I'll let Larry, give you a recap with that since he is the one watching it. Well, here's the stats. 98.5% of the 45,660 starters finished yesterday. On the women's side, it was Edna Kiploggett, who runs for ASIC. So ASIC's had his first winner in over a decade. Uh, with two miles to go, it was Edna, it was Shalane Flanagan, and it was Mary Katani. And we were wondering who was going to do it. Edna made the move. Shalane flew, fell back a little bit, fought Mary to, into second. Shalane ended up second, ended up, ended up winning. Ended up Kiplockett winning in 228.20. Shalane Flanagan in 228.40. Awesome race. Negative splits. Shalane, the only thing she could have done better was win. On the men's side, Gebra Gebamariam, one of the most decorated runners in our sport. You saw him with a little gray hat sitting in the back of the pack. Uh, everybody was watching highly. At just 416 miles, Hotley went on the downhill. He ended up dropping out. The next mile was running 426, next 5K and 1404. Gabra, James Mutai, or Emmanuel Mutai, James Kwambai, Moses Keegan all took off in the end. Gabra, Gabra Mariam with a mile to go, 208.13. Fourth fastest debut ever here for a man. Tremendous event. Probably the best marathon New York has done in years. Edison Pena was the big show yesterday. The Chilean miner who ran three to six miles every day for 69 days underground, finished in 5.42.40 unofficially. It's the biggest press conference of the day. When you can convince people in the Big Apple to go to that kind of press conference, it's superb. But hats off to Mary Wittenberg and the New York Road Owners Club for another tremendous event. Maybe the best marathon they've ever had. Well, and they're already started at noon today. They're going to start taking applications for 2011. And she said maybe tomorrow or the next day, they'll select 50 of those people who put in really early. And they're talking maybe picking around 50 per month just to keep the excitement going. And uh, their next big goal is to raise $1 million per kilometer for charities. They raised $30 million. Their goal is a million per mile. I think they'll be able to do it for charities next year and raise that $42 million, one for a million for every charity. So definitely they're going to keep the excitement going here in New York for the next year. Uh, it's definitely going to be a phenomenal event next year. And thank goodness for the weather because today it is raining. If we'd had this, it wouldn't have been the same, same type of event. But it couldn't have been better. Beautiful weather, 48 degrees. And it was definitely a memorable event for me. So many spectators, and I've run this 13 times, and it's always a thrill to step up that line and that cannon goes off. There's nothing like the New York City Marathon in this. Mary Wittenberg said at a press conference a few years ago, there's nothing like New York, and nobody does it like New York City. So over and out with Gary Morgan with the Michigan Runner. Larry Eater with Running Network. Next time we'll see you in Houston in January. Talk to you soon.